Hi, my name is Vincent Mosco, and my new book is To the Cloud, Big Data in a Turbulent World. The book is about cloud computing. Perhaps you've heard about it. But like many people don't know precisely what it means. When you boil it all down, cloud computing takes the information, music, videos, software, apps from your computer and from the large computers of giant corporations and moves it all to distant data centers located somewhere in the world. These centers are operated by private companies who, for a fee, provide you with 24-7 access to your data and programs and promise to do so privately and with full security. I decided to write this book about the cloud because it's considered the next big thing in information technology and most of what's been written is for either technical or promotional. There's a worldwide effort to get us all to move to the cloud. But the next big thing has big problems. Only a handful of private companies control most of the world's data centers. These are led by Amazon, but there are others of the usual suspects, Microsoft, Facebook, IBM, and just a few others. And when governments get involved, it's mainly their intelligence and surveillance agencies, like the CIA, which has partnered with Amazon, and of course the National Security Agency, which is one of the largest users of the cloud in the world. Moreover, uh, there are major environmental problems associated with cloud computing. The first is it's an enormous drain on the world's electricity. Uh, fully 3% of the world's electricity now goes into, uh, into operating uh, the world's data centers, and we're only at the very beginning of their worldwide development. Moreover, 24-7 access requires backup systems for when the electricity goes down, and uh, most of these systems, like diesel generators and lead-acid batteries, pollute the environment. Furthermore, uh, privacy is far from guaranteed in the cloud. Uh, in fact, uh, cloud companies make money by selling the information they store on us and organizations uh, to uh, advertisers and governments eager to learn more and more about us. So the surveillance issue is very significant. Moreover, the cloud threatens jobs in the IT sector, computer science jobs, but all across the knowledge sector which relies more and more on information technology. It's a lot cheaper uh, to teach a course from the cloud to a thousand or more students than it is to hire the professional instructors to teach such a course. Uh, and finally, the cloud challenges some of our fundamental ways of knowing things. Uh, these days, it's only quantitative data analyzed from big data uh, in the cloud that is considered uh, legitimate. More and more qualitative information historically grounded evidence, theoretical information, is swept aside as we move to the cloud and big data. Now I decided to write this book to open a debate about these critical issues, but also to consider alternatives to a privately controlled cloud. Perhaps we need to think about cloud computing as an essential service for the world's people. Like water and electricity, perhaps we need to think about the cloud as a genuine public utility put under democratic control so that we can make the best use of it for the most people uh, without uh, many of the significant problems that are being avoided now because it's under the control of private companies. Now, if you want to join uh, the discussion about the cloud, I'd like to invite you to my book launch, which is taking place on September 17th at 7 p.m. at Octopus Books, 251 Bank Street. I hope you can come by 
and look forward to continuing this conversation with you.